Welcome to the Sleepy G Show. I'm their host with the most. My name is Gomez, and today I don't got one, not two, but three special guests. One's definitely an alumni from our old high school, St. Mary's, who was the probably one of the best fullbacks, middle linebackers I've ever seen in my time at that point. Ron Simone, we got his buddies from the Net U, the After School Challenge, and One Stop Realty Shop, okay. Superheroes. Let's get it right there. And probably one of the best hype men in New Jersey. We got Chris. And then we got our buddy in the middle, Mo Butts. What's going on, everybody? Yo, what's, what's, going, going, on? what's going on? What's going on? Welcome Thank to the show. So, oh, no. I, hey, listen, I appreciate you guys coming on. Ron and I have a good history with each other. We were teammates. We were friends and, you know, support each other. Um, it's a great thing that you're doing, Ron, too, man. You've been doing this for a few years now with the, the After School Challenge, the One Stop, and Net You for a little bit now. I've... Followed you for a but long time. Don't forget time. that merch. You see, we always oh, no. got the merch on. We you got the merch play. too. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna forget the merch. We're gonna say that towards the end, so not to worry. But <laughs> you've been doing this for a little bit of time. Fun. You've been doing this for a while. How did you develop all this? You know what I mean? This is kind of cool that you're doing. Um, just take you know what the best of everything I learned. Like we we used to work at uh with my father for his real estate company for 11 years, then opened up my own company. Um not because I didn't like working for my father, the guy, the goat. I hate when people use that word, the goat. The goat. <laughs> All time, because everybody claims to be the goat. Everybody claims to be number one. And everybody claims to be the, the best. best. <laughs> but if I'm you know number Ron one's Simone there be. Senior, God rest his soul. Like, yep. if you know Ron Simone Sr., like, I learned from the best. Mm -hmm. And, again, take take everything you learn real estate-wise and put your little twists in Mo. Mo and uh, we always got to have the hype man right here. Oh, yeah. But uh, these two guys are like my uh, left and uh, right arm. I'll say, uh, Chris, uh, and Mo, Chris, I, I've seen a lot of your hypes, man. Even with doing the bang, you've been a huge figure for him, too, man. How did uh, this develop for you as being the hype man? Like, the the, the one, the go-to guy on that, too. Well, I'm very passionate about anything that that's positive and for the people and and not robbing people and taking advantage of mm -hmm. the hardworking man. So when I got introduced from his dad and his company, they're real people. They're not sure. shy people. They're not going to take you for your money. They're going to help you along your process, help you get the best deal and leave you happy. So when I got a house with Ron and I was very happy, I'm not just mm -hmm. a client. Not right, just right. Right. <laughs> like he's pointing a gun right underneath the camera. There's a gun. He's pointing at him. You better say all these things. Dude. You better say this the right way. <laughs> so, yeah. So where's the paper at? <laughs> line, please. Line, 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 check. Line, line, check. Clear. <laughs> so, uh, so I see that, you know, he's about the people and about helping people. So he asked me to be one of his realtors. And I was like, why not? Mm -hmm. so we did that and we started you know we grabbed mo and then we just started making little jokes and mo was like we should put a camera on this because yeah. we're a bunch of clowns that have here to help people and just make people smile and you know guide them the right way in their real estate needs and that's one thing i gotta say mo you, since you're the one who decided to get the shenanigans on camera you know that that's a great idea because you guys have done some really good positive stuff and I know at one point you guys were after, we're not going to mention the name, but you guys were after for a long time, one guy who really was a shady construction worker around the Lynnhurst Rutherford yeah. area. And I even remember him when I lived in Rutherford, uh, we all knew who he kind of was at that point too, but we didn't think he would take it that far. Right, right, right. Um, you know, it's one of those things. And you know what you guys done, the positivity going after him, Ron going after this guy, you know, everyone collaborating together to get this guy was pretty cool, man. And you guys did a wonderful job, but also you guys have done some funny stuff too. Well, that's that's what, that's and, that, and that's where net you comes along. Right. So yeah. don't get taken advantage of. And we have the right people like, uh, you know, the other list. I don't know the name of that other list, but you know, you don't take advantage of people. So you hire the right contract. You hire the right guy. You hire the right realtor. You hire the right people. So you leave left with the job done, right? And a smile right. on your face. You know, that's And that's why we call ourselves One Stop Realty Shop because we got everything for you. 
And we, we have a rule in that you, if you, everybody's free to market themselves, everybody's free mm -hmm. to join. You can market as many times, unlike the rest of these bullshit groups on Facebook. Gotta only market Fridays. Gotta have your phone number. You got, as long as you hashtag net you, you can market and advertise yourself. Yep. But, but on the other hand, like, like you told people, you know, I'm not the person, I'm not the person to mess with. So the fact of the matter is if you fuck up, then we're going to expose you. We're going to come after you right. and we're embarrass you till you're out of business. And I think that's why so many people like they are highlighted on, on the uh, net you page on the one stop mm -hmm. shop page is because a lot of businesses, uh, they don't take any responsibility. And when they, when they're told that you are going to be exposed, you're going, we're going to tell everyone that you're not a good business, especially if you join net you mm -hmm. because we're a family, you know, we're not charging anybody anything. Right. right? And that's something that's like me. I'm right. doing my show. I'm not charging. I'm not yeah. making money on this. I do this because I love what I do. Right. Absolutely. And, it's, and for me is if you catch any of the shows, I, I look, I can be funny. I can spread positivity. We're talking domestic violence with some people, mm -hmm. autism. Uh, we had Angela Bride and Egan, who Ron and I went to high school with. She talked about her son with autistic. Uh, right. Brandon Swillinger, uh, I knew through St. Mary's as I coached him. His kids have CP, cerebral palsy. So, and I had Jeanette Mackesy, Greg Mackesy's uh, sister mm -hmm. with the type one diabetes, all St. Mary's alumni with Ron here. Uh, we share a lot of these comments and this is what I mm -hmm. love to do too, is the positivity. Yes. If you, That's if fun. you guys messed up, fuck up, not, not you guys, but I mean, anybody oh, in I general, know. I'm going after you too. You know what I mean? Right. I Absolutely. am going to, and that's something I like to do too. You know, I might be a small podcaster from New Jersey, but shit, I'm getting people from Sweden, Italy, Russia, France listening to the show. That's amazing. Yeah. So Chris has, Chris has more fans in Italy than I got does, more fans. Than than Italy. Italy. So, <laughs> so now, now my my Italian base is going to go up about a hundred percent now oh, because sure, of Chris. Sure. One hundred and twenty. One hundred and twenty. We have a brown guy in this podcast, so I'm good at math. One hundred and twenty. Hey, hey, um, well, I'm actually, but I'm Cuban brown. I'm Cuban and Peruvian. Oh, yeah. That's why I, I got the tan going. I have the twenty four seven tan always. <laughs> So, I mean, the cool thing is like how you guys got together, man. And that's something is truly amazing positivity. And, you know, Ron, I've known you for so many years. You were, you would kick my ass during football practice when I'm on scout team. But I'll tell you, you were truly a positive influence on a lot of us in high school, too. I'll never forget, you know, you would knock us down, but you help us back up. And when I do remember the one time, and this is the one that always gets me. We were going nine and zero in St. Mary's, trying to go nine and zero to be the first undefeated in a long time high school football team in our high school. And when Ron got hurt, man, broken ribs. I'm gonna tell you, the guy showed heart, put a freaking I don't remember what the hell he had a pat on his ribs, came back in the game. Though we lost, but Ron showed the biggest heart out of the whole team that he was a true leader out there with Mickey Holst, Dennis Holst, the two the, the brothers. Um, Paulie Johnson, another great running back behind Ron, making all those yards. You know what I mean? The offensive line, uh, guys like Tony Messino, Jeff Burke, um, John, uh, Paul, uh, God, John Paulson, and Robert Beckert and myself. You know what I mean? This mm -hmm. was like um, a family that you guys have that we have. And, I, and, you know, I'll tell a little story. Back in the day, even Ron knew I was not in the greatest shape my sophomore year. I remember him and Coach Sheridan – he went to get me, and it was our coach, Sheridan, who was our dean of students slash our head football coach. Oh, Mr. Sheridan. Yeah, Mr. Sheridan, man. Talk about the we best coach. We love him. No, great we do guy. love him. He is the greatest guy. He's developed us right to what we are today, and that's something I'll never forget because Ron got me, and they said, he's like, Gomez. First of all, I always went with my last name because no one could uh, – Alex was for, – forget it. Oh, no, any kind of sport, you're only known by your last name. They, yeah. You get numbers and last names. You know Numbers are last name, but there was too many – because the Hispanic Alex. population at St. Mary's, Alex was – Alejandro slash Alex was a popular name. Right. So I'm just like, just call me Gomez. Just get it over with. I'm done. <laughs> you know, it's like the Patel crisis that's going on right now in high school. <laughs> there's so, you know, there's, there's a, a Patel for every problem, bro. There's too many Patel. <laughs> so – it was really cool because what we used to do is we we didn't lift in our in outside we would lift inside a gym our mm -hmm. high school gym yeah and i guess coach sheridan made it a pet project to make me in shape like a, like a legit football player like i took the challenge on like they, they it was a gauntlet mm -hmm. so pretty much after lifting i would run for like 20 minutes inside a 
105, 110 degree gym, no windows, all of them locked. And these guys, he made me, he made me join wrestling and track. Yeah, same here. Me, me, yeah, 225 pound guy running every day after school. And I'm like, I'm not even competing. I'm not even. (laughs) He was there for the looks. He was, he was there for the big looks. That's what we needed him for. (laughs) But I will say this this is how we knew we became a family as a team. When Ron and Paulie and Mick uh, all decided to run with me to push me, then you see every day a couple of the groups coming up, start running, start jogging, walking. And then at the end of the year, when we were running, when I'm running wind sprints with them, with Ron and Paulie almost with these guys as a fat guy, as a lineman, I was, I was, the, I was one of the hogs, but running with them, you know what I mean? I, there was a true inspiration by these guys to push. I'm mean, you know, in the trenches. You're in the trenches every yeah, day. Yeah. You know and, what I mean? You know, uh, I didn't, we never uh, got the highlights. Listen, yeah. at those times, you know, Ron could speak, you know, is the highlights were him, Paulie Johnson, Mickey Hulse, the, the, you know, the, the cornerbacks at that time, Joe Reed, Joe Ty Berzy, our tight end, Jair Bergen at that time. These were the guys who caught the headlines, not the offensive line, but whenever the line got mentioned, we were, we were proud of that. You know what I mean? Because. Our tough front. They just like, just like this, like, you know, what's so funny, like, you have everybody that everybody that has done something with them with themselves has had a great coach or or a mm-hmm. great person to to That's inspire awesome. them in the beginning. Shout yeah. out! We got to shout out Sheridan. We got to shout out Jonesy. We got to shout yeah. out Weaver. The rest of the same. Venezia, Venezia for the line. Yeah, you know Venezia, I mean? like uh, that, that whole group. All of them. You you had like, and they're the ones that taught you how to become a family. Like, and I learned mm-hmm. at a college level, like. And the, and the higher levels, like you're in the higher levels in high school, it's not it's not a family anymore. No. It's you know a lot of individuals, a lot of people. Again, just like in real estate, they think they're number one. Everybody's the best. You know, if you don't play as a team, and you see, and, and we preach this all the time, mm-hmm. if you don't play as a team, if you don't act like you're a team, if you don't hang out every day, if you don't you know care about the people that are around you, like you're never going to be successful in anything. Yeah. And that's the people, truth. You need people, or, you know, you need other people like any corporation that you see out there that's worth millions and millions of dollars. What do they do? They hire people to run their business for them because once, you know, if you have three people with a lot of money, it's all their money and their feelings get involved. Yeah. You know, Now it's, I want my way. I want my way. Everybody butts heads, but they hire a team so that they're out of the business end of it. They're just the money end of it. Mm-hmm. And the team is working for the business themselves. It's right. the so, same principle over and over again. Sorry to cut you off, but like no, no, no. It's, it's what Ron's told me since day one. And, and you know, this is what I love about him because he practices what he preaches that he does. You need to be a unit. You know what I mean? And now that you're telling me this, it's 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 not something that he discovered when he got into real estate. Like no. now I'm, I'm realizing that he's been doing this and he's figured this out at a very early age. And the corporations are doing the same thing. They're creating a unit that are all going to do. They're going to work towards the same goal. And once that doesn't happen, where one person is doing something else, they get fired and they bring in somebody that's yeah. going to be a part of that unit. Ron that's the reason why they're so successful. And I'll, and I'll say, Ron, my junior year, even my sophomore to junior to senior year, even though after Ron left my senior year, he still visited us. You know what I mean? Even though when I when they left, that my group. My junior year group was a bunch of seniors. So that whole offensive line, the quarterback, the fullback, the running back, half of the defense, they were all gone. Yeah. I was the one leftover guy. I'll tell you the one thing is that it was scary when uh, I was it. You know what I mean? Like, holy crap, we had to rebuild a whole offensive line. But the one thing, again, it was the family dynamics. Ron kept saying, don't forget the family. Right this now. is the brotherhood. When we lost to St. Joe's our, his senior year, I made it a mission to make sure if I go back down there at St. Joe's Hamilton, that we weren't losing. And if we do lose, the game was a lot closer than what it should be. We, I went there my senior I mean, my senior year, I went to the gym. I lived in the gym. I lived outside the field, running, training. And Ron was always there, no matter what. He always checks in with us, always was writing to us, emailing us at that point, just when email was getting big. You know, he would actually contact Coach Sharon because Coach Sharon was in contact with him, see mm-hmm. how he was doing down at Rutgers playing football. You know what I mean? So he never forgot any of us, too, when he went to D1 school. And that's something I always respected him for that because 
you know, he, he truly loved us and we loved him as he went on to D one. And we, you know, that's huge for us because to see someone like him, his caliber, his, his, his teachings and stuff, he, he took it to the college level and man, we saw him play. And that's something that we'll never forget. Yeah. Awesome. You know what I mean? I, I still think he could have made the NFL and killed somebody, <laughs> but you know, <laughs> no, he, he's definitely the original Don Toretto. They just couldn't find a guy big enough to play him. So they went with Vin Diesel instead. That's his real, that's his real name, Don Toretto? Is that, is that, that really was the movie name? name? No, that was the oh, Dominic movie. Toretto in the movie, Fats oh, and Furious. Oh, Dom. I thought he said Don. No, 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 no. Dom. <laughs> no. No, he was trying oh, to correct me there. He was trying to correct me. My first name. Uh, but that's what I'm saying. It's just one of those things that he's always there. Even to this day, you know what I mean? He's always, hey, make sure you hashtag yourself on with us. And I started doing it more now. Get the knee. So, he, yeah, there he is. Come here, buddy. Come here. He he oh, can't hear me. Bring him in. Here we go. Anthony, hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna put this on right now. Hold on. You guys can hear me? Yes. We got you. All right. So Anthony, what do you want to say to everybody? You heard the bing. You heard did you say can you hear the bing? <laughs> you hear the bing? You fro you froze up on dad's podcast. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Bang. You heard that bang? You gave the thumbs up. Hey, There's adults bang. and children. It's okay. <laughs> hey, I gotta go. He's three and a half years old, but he's built like a bull. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah right, Anthony? I got two poops. <laughs> he gotta go, go poop. poop. Yeah. <laughs> he did two poops. He said it right. Classic, classic. I got two poops. <laughs> two, two poops. poops. Yeah. <laughs> you good, Anthony? <laughs> All right, go go play, buddy. That's hilarious. Go 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 wreck my go wreck the room. Go ahead, buddy. <laughs> go ahead. Throw, Dad dad's, hat. Throw right dad's hats all over the place. Dad's giving you free reign. Yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to spotlight uh, like Dad does. Oh man, you know what? I, I it's kind of funny. I took this on a year ago, and I didn't think I'd be doing all this a year later. To be honest with you, you know. Yeah, and, you got some big names on there too. I mean, I've been watching yeah. everything. You know. As I always, we follow, we got to follow the same. No, age. no, I appreciate it. You know, I mean, I had Christina Bear, Cara DeFalco, Don Smith. I had a, a hip hop artist, Kenny J. Um, I'm gonna have um another hip hop artist from the from Canada actually come on. I had an entertainment company call me, and they're like, "Hey, we love your show. We love what you did with our guy. We want to do more with you." So, uh, oh, you know, awesome. little by little, you know, I'm doing but it. You can't do you can't do everything yourself, right? And you no. would, without other people, you wouldn't have a podcast. Without no. other people, we wouldn't have a real estate company. So we preach it all the time. Unity gives you power. Unity and power. obviously you could do, you could accomplish anything as long as you have the right people around you. And that's the one thing. I mean, the good thing is, like I said, positive people puts positive emotions like with you guys. You yes. know what I mean? I was so hyped up with when Ron and I, I was like, oh, let's just talk. Let's get this idea going off. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. And, you know, here we are. And I know it's early morning, but I can't thank you guys enough for jumping in on oh, it because. It. No, it's it's an absolute pleasure you. to be here. You know, you. for me, it's just honor to have you guys and seeing Ron, you know, seeing how successful he is and how successful he became from St. Mary's, a little school. You know what I mean? If you think about it, Ron, our graduating, your graduating class was under 90. Mine was under 80. Oh yeah, yeah. So it I mean, like three hundred. I think there was only at the time like three hundred kids in the school. Yeah, we were literally, literally being shut down <laughs> like every, every year, every uh, year, every other year. We were but about the, money and finances. Yeah, I mean, but the football but, program was one. The ba baseball program was another that and, really, and the softball program. I can't forget that. You guys so a lot. Oh no, they, they like we had you know. You got to shout out the softball program. We had no wrestling program. They got a wrestling program now. Yeah. You know, um, football is always big. And, and you know, talk about a person who, like, put his, put his like, you know, teeth to the grind. And, like, Mr. Sheridan, literally the guy runs Rutherford, New Jersey. Oh, yeah, he is. He is Mr. Rutherford, I think. Mr. St. Mary's, like, he built the church. He got the church built. He, he raises money all the time. Even though he's retired, he's you know. Still He's still he's, involved. And then, you know, his mentor, Jack Jones, who is everybody's mentor, one of the smartest guys you've ever met, you know, the whole Jones family was, yeah. you know, so happy. And so, so uh, it was such a pleasure having all, all these people a part of our lives. You know, what's funny. You know what I'm hearing right now? When Susie said Jack Jones, I'm hearing practice, run it again, yeah. run it again. If you don't get five yards, you are, it's not positive. Right. Anything under five, it's no good. Yeah, I, that's I why we had. That's why we that had. Sounds to get, just like Ron. 
<laughs> right, right. <laughs> That's why we had to get 20 yards yeah. to carry. That's it. it was pretty much, so we didn't have to run it again. Yeah. We didn't have if, to run it. If it was 20 yards, it was positive. We were happy. <laughs> yeah. You know, it, the line would be like, thank God. But right, if, right, right. if but if we messed up, oh shit. I, I can imagine. It, oh my listen, we had I think we had NFL coaches at high school level. Wow. Yeah, buddy. What's up? Question. You have a question. Okay, what's your question, Anthony? Um, that's very gross. Like like that movie. Like <laughs> Yes, the scary Grinch like the movie. Yes, I, I wouldn't call our coaches scary, like the Grinch. I, I call them. Like, I would. I would. I would. I call them like. That John sounds Grinch. like too nice of a description. Yeah, that was too nice. Uh, I wouldn't go there. But thank you, Anthony. <laughs> but you know what the you know what the fact is like even though like I you know I would say all the time like I like I've gotten along with a lot of coaches, but I'm, and I've not gotten along with a lot of coaches because oh, yeah. you know it's it's still a respect level. Like if you, you know, you have this, the people that make you money, just like real estate wise, like, listen, if you're not going to produce, you're not going to do your job. Somebody else is going to be put in there. Right. Right. And the fact of the matter is, if you respect me, I respect you now, you know, having Jim Garrett, having, having Jonesy, having um, Jason Garrett, having, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, you know, Weaver, Venezia, uh, Sheridan, all those guys, like, they wanted the most from you as mm -hmm. I want the most from the people that work mm -hmm. for me, but, and they were, and they were tough as nails. I, I would oh, yeah. go with those guys anytime, but they still respected you as a person. You know, oh, yeah. these are guys that are, you know, in their twenties, thirties, and we're young punk kids from high school, you know, and just like Chris, Chris is older than me. I'm the middle guy here. Mo's the youngest, but like, it doesn't matter your age. It doesn't matter your eth ethnicity. It doesn't matter your race, your religion. Like we, we respect everybody. Why? Because you know what? We're hired to do a job, right? right? Just like football. If you, if you don't do your job, somebody else is waiting in line to do it. So just like real estate, all these companies are out there. They go for, they want uh, quantity because they figure if they have a hundred people, these fine, let them go. Right on, yeah. uh, <clears throat> if, if you have a hundred people working, the, the, you know, the, the statistics say that you're going to make more business, but meanwhile, those there's 15 out of those hundred people working, you know, and you're, it's really costing you more time, more energy for these people up and leaving your company. So having us here, like, you know, it, it, we're, we're, we're just such a, everybody respects each other. Everybody, you know, it doesn't matter where you're from, what you do. We're all here to help each other. Real estate, such a, cutthroat business just right. everything is a business just like football you know what i mean it's it's a business <clears throat> we're all working towards a common goal we're all yeah. working towards a common goal right my, my favorite you... my favorite is is when we show up to a house mm -hmm. a bunch of realtors and they were like who are all you people because they only expect one realtor and we never experienced six realtors or eight realtors coming yeah. to our house at first they're all timid and scared at the end of it I'm getting hugs and pictures taken with me because you know, yeah, we have pictures. So now <laughs> instead, of getting one, instead of getting one realtor, you're getting eight yeah. realtors that are yeah. listing your property okay. right there. And you're getting, I'm getting a cup of coffee and I'm getting cookies and I'm getting pictures taken with me. It's, so, it's okay. <laughs> That's well, at first they won't want to like, let me in. And next day I'm getting cookies and coffee and pictures. Mo, yeah. tell them, tell them, tell them what we hit them with, Mo. Tell them what we hit them with. Oh, with the Spanish guitars. The moment <laughs> that's it. The moment Ron walks in, you know what I mean? You look into his eyes, right? You never spoke Spanish in your life. Then you hear these strings, and all of a sudden, like he's speaking English. You hear Spanish, but you can that's hear it. everything he's saying. <laughs> he's just wooing you with facts. He's wooing you with you are wrong. That's something like they're not used to hearing. But like, here's a six foot two guy. Sorry. Are you five foot eleven? <laughs> <laughs> Six foot two guy, three hundred pounds, walking up to you and telling you, "We're not here for your listing. We're not here for your business. We want to know what it is that we can do for you because we're a personal service, which we are. Mm -hmm. And we're going to tell you exactly where you are wrong, right? You, you, you put one hundred percent of your faith in any business. Yeah. That is that is on you. I can't just call AT and T. They tell me everything. I don't do any research. And I, and I go with them. I know, I know I shouldn't probably like mention any corporations, but you know, this, this is where we really tell people and, and we're kind of bringing this back. Like a lot of 
a lot of these businesses are becoming computers. They're becoming, they're losing that human connection. So we're trying to restore that. That's one thing I've noticed in life is, like you said, you're losing the human connection. Like everything is getting AI. You know, look at look at the cars now that could drive themselves, Teslas and the electric Oh, yeah. cars. Yeah, And you have Lucid, you have Rivian, uh, yeah. even even BMWs and all these other cars. They're, they're all coming out with an electric version. right, you forget And the everybody electric always engine. wants to take everybody wants to take the laziest way out, right? Yeah. Right. Right. right? Like you're here to do a job. That's what we get paid for. Yeah. Right. So the automated text messages, the virtual assistants. The, the little uh, voice voice calls that are calling out on people like, does anybody want to work anymore? Does anybody No. want to get The, paid for what you're supposed doing to commercial do? real estate is one of like the hardest things to do because they will never answer your texts. They will never answer your calls. They'll tell you I'm in a meeting, but they will never get back to you. And you think to yourself, how are you making money? Right. Like we're always reaching out to these people. I'm not going to mention any, any companies in general, but you know, majority of, of the, the real estate companies that I reach out to. Never mind real estate companies. I mean, my wife had a little procedure done on Friday and I had to call CVS for something. Oh, how could I help you? I want customer service. Right. I Yeah. don't want your automated crap because Yeah. my, Oh, oh, I hate it. I hate I hate that. that. I hate Press three. You know what you do? You It's you press straight that. up You at press that that point. zero. <laughs> you press that zero. You keep pressing it until you get somebody. Yo, if one thing, if one thing that these guys learn from, from being with me, like, yo, if I don't, I don't, it's all principle to me, all principle. I don't care if a credit card company charged me $5 extra. I don't care if somebody told me they were going to be done in three days and, and they're, and they're taking seven days. Like you're, whatever you, whatever you sign your name to with me better be that way or I'm going to, or I'm going to lose it. I'm going to embarrass you and I'm going to, and I'm going to make you make you regret that you started working with me only because when you're hired to do a job You're expected. and I'm paying for it, you should do that job. End of story. End That's of story. also a skill to call your like a service provider or somebody that you, whether you're getting Wi-Fi from or phone, like I've heard him on the phone so many times. I, it really is a principle. I've gotten a hundred dollars off my bill. Just, just watching him talk to these people because they really are ripping you off sometimes. Right. Well, my wife calls me the uh, the don of asses when it comes to talking to people, Yeah. getting stuff done. Because Yeah. I, you know what, as working in customer service for now, oh, see, almost thirty years. Wow, you took up the whole screen, my buddy. After <laughs> customer service for almost thirty years, you know, I know the I know the good, the bad, the ugly, and. When you stop, you have He's, a he's getting ready to take over your podcast. You're going to go, let's retire go. you for three years. Anthony podcast. In three No more. years, he's going to retire you. I'm not even going to be Yo. mine anymore. <laughs> What's It's your Anthony. question? It's Anthony featuring Sleepy G. <laughs> <laughs> He likes I love both. Burger King. Very good. He's Okay. good. You, you know what? A lot of McDonald's. A lot of McDonald's. There's a lot of McDonald's. Burger King. You love McDonald's. Why don't you go play McDonald's right now? <laughs> Here, Anthony, I'll let you borrow one of my baseball caps. There you go, buddy. Go play. <laughs> But think about it. In any of these, any of these new businesses, any of these things that you do in life, like you know, what really, what really shocked me is there. You know, I, I hear all the time there's not enough teachers. Teachers don't want to be teachers anymore. Policemen don't want to be police anymore. And that's what we're like taught in high school. If you look at high school, like it's it's always. Oh, you, they, they have pictures, they have videos. Oh, be a nurse, Oh, yeah. be a doctor, be a police officer. I remember that when we were growing Right? up. There's only like 10 professions they want you to do. Well, you're really being a slave to them. But that's that's not even what we're talking about. Like they're lowering the standards now. Like teachers already have it rough. Mm You -hmm. know, teachers who are, are, you know, in the business and can't be touched and doing things they shouldn't be doing. Like now you want to lower the standards for teachers. Mm Now you want to lower the standards for police officers because you can't. get them now the standard in real estate has been lowered so much like remember like i tell it and we tell it all the time like this is the number 70 percent of the world won't ever own a home no right that's most people true rent most people are living with somebody kids today don't even want to move out to, at a house until they're 40 years old but you know i always say this all the time the real estate commission 
is made up of two people in New Jersey, two people. What are, what are they monitoring right mm -hmm. now? It's become such a shit show because you have all the rules, all the ethics being broken. Right. And you have a test right now. Can you, can you become a doctor? To, can you take the, the, the test to become a doctor 50 times and, 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 and be a, a good doctor? Can you take the test for a lawyer? You know, it, it, how many times and, and still be a lawyer? No, right. Like, no realtors can take the test and there's only a sense. few there's only a few um variations of the test yeah. realtors can take the test as many times as they want fail as many times as they want you know what i mean and they make a joke about uh bill clinton back in the day that a c student ran ran the world like we have a you know not that i was the best student but i i i i, I learned in college to become the best student and how to how to you know make yourself known out there and and yeah. get what you want by using your mouth by networking with people by by doing things like but how are you allowing these people to fail tests over and over and over and over and over again and deal with the biggest investment of your life right you're not taught, you're not you're not taught about credit in high school you're not taught about your bank account writing checks how to buy how to buy a house they'll never talk about even opening up your own business like that's something that's just like no, it's never, never it's never mentioned you have to go to college right out of high school because they ask no, you guys, they're, not, they're never going to ask you what you want to be they'll ask you what college are you going to at, like right when you're graduating that's, well, what's, that's our, what's our favorite word Bing? that everybody wants to be nowadays Entrepreneurs. Entrepreneurs. Oh my God, an entrepreneur. Everybody in Everybody's this world an is an entrepreneur. They don't even know what the fuck the word means. And yeah. it's funny. I mean, like even myself, I, 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 my whole goal was to at one point was to open up a restaurant with my dad. This is after, before he passed away when, when we were in high school. My dad was probably our biggest, one of our biggest cheerleaders, man, that we'll ever hear you. My dad had the broken English, but he would cheer everybody on. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, he, 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 you hear him cheer for Rod, like Rod, and they're like, Gomez, what do you say? I think he cheers. He's cheering for you, Ron. Okay, and this is why we're and this is why we're in the hut. I was like, dude, what your dad say? He goes, just keep kicking ass. That's all. Right, right, right. <laughs> he goes, I'm okay. first translator. <laughs> yeah, you know, pretty much on the field. Yeah. I'm trying to ignore my dad, but everybody knows we could all hear him. Um, yeah. But the thing is, like, you know, even as a podcaster, you know, starting, you know, I was with somebody when I did Playlist Wars with another. St. Mary's alumni, Brian Colburn. I've been, I've known him for over 30 years. And this is before you, Ron, of course, you know what I mean? Before you came to St. Mary's. Um, I went through the high, I went through the grammar school all the way to the high school. So I was a St. Mary's kid growing up. So even as a pot going on your own, it's scary shit. Because when you look, when we say, when you look at New Jersey, you're dealing with the tri state area, not just New Jersey. You're dealing with all of New Jersey. Pennsylvania, and probably one of the biggest markets besides California is New York City. Right, 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 you know? right. And everyone says, if you can make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. I'm going to say this crap. Screw that. If you can make it in New Jersey before you even make it in New York, you can make it anywhere. Make it because right, right, right. everyone says how hard New York is. Yes, it is hard. Living in New Jersey is even harder. You know, trying to find the right property, trying to right, find the right town for schools for kids. You know, um, I have two kids of my own. You just met one of them. The oldest one is at CCD today. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So when I met my wife, my dumb luck, and I always say literally dumb luck, met her on match.com. Surprisingly, it works. Right. Um, you know, hey, here I am. I'm married with two kids. That's where I met Chris. And, that's where I met Chris and Mo. <laughs> nice. No, no, no. You met, the it way he met back. me is he took this trip to Singapore and he found this kid picking trash. And he's like, all right, we're going to take you back to the States. I was well, like, he he homeless. Let me take him. You put me in the best ESL classes. That's why I sound like this. <laughs> you sound great, man. I'll take that. <laughs> no, my teacher was Italian. So for like the first five years, I talked with my hands. So now I don't. Do that <laughs> hey, but you don't have the Italian accent down yet. But you got the hand works good. Just like, every, just like every Italian or Hispanic yeah. man, you know, except I don't do this. <laughs> I go, I go like this with the food. Yeah. Um, but you know, it, I have to give I have to give hype man toys to play with. Why is it? Yeah, visit, visit. Sometimes I'm the same way. Like I have, I'll do this. Uh, holding my son was enough. So you know, you can't go wrong with that. So for me, you know, as a small podcaster, it's not easy. You know, really not. um, 
you know, having my fir- my fourth episode with a two time Emmy Award winner, Christina Bear, was just an amazing. That I got her. Amazing. You yeah. know what I mean? Um, Cara DeFalco and Christina and Don Smith are actually personal friends now. Like I feel like I could I reach out to them, I talk to them. Uh, I hung out with Cara DeFalco. I hung out with her for one dinner, and we we talked to each other a lot. And for me, that's an awesome connection. But she's also ended up turning out to be a good friend. You know what yeah. I mean? With all three of them. So for me, that's. that's that's amazing. That's what it's about. It's not just about making connections. It's about, no. you know what I mean? Having somebody that has your back and give you advice and. Yeah. Oh, and I take it too. And not just there for, you know, the good times. And you're yeah. building your, and you're building yourself together. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, if I, like you see all the time, these guys will finish my words. I'll finish their words. You know what I mean? If, if you're all on the same page and like, you're not, he's not trying to say he's better than me. I'm not trying yeah. to say better than Mo. You're, you didn't invent the podcast. We didn't invent real estate. Yeah. We didn't invent marketing. We didn't invent networking. We just, we just do it. And we, anybody that is a good person, anybody that wants to better themselves, like we do, you try and get like-minded people. And that's how, that's how you succeed. You, yeah. you're not sitting here saying I'm the best, yeah, you know, I'm no. the best, uh, you know, podcaster. We're not saying here we're the best. We just say we do it better than you. Yeah, we do. Yeah. You know? <laughs> right. Like you know, it's funny. Like everyone goes to me, "What's your show about?" I go, "Well, I go, you watch daytime TV." They're like, "Yes." I go, "So my show is like Jerry Springer, Phil Donahue, Kelly Clarkson, Ellen put into one show." Fight now. <laughs> oh, well, you can't fight if you want. Are you gonna? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go. Chris, I'll go. You are not go, the yes, go I'll, I'll start cheering for my own show here. You know what I mean? But you know, but it's funny because sleepy, sleepy, yeah, sleepy, 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 sleepy. sleepy. <laughs> so I mean, for me, it's like I. That's why I think I I became when people tell me at the end of the show, it's like, holy Christ, this was not an interview. I go, I'm not making a show to do interviews. I'm making a show to make people aware make people feel comfortable it's not about all interviews all the time it's about having fun you know like we're having fun today we're also getting down to the nitty-gritty you know what i mean right, right, uh, right. you know oh, and that's the thing be real have fun smile yeah. tell the truth and, and that's what i do and that's what I, that's why i love what i do you know what i mean you know i put a, i post up blogs about movies i like movies that are that i love you know what i mean a matter of fact i even wrote the tale of St. Mary's about my tale at St. Mary's, you know, how hard it was, you know, I had difficulties when I left uh, St. Mary's, you know, going to college, I ended up coaching with St. Mary's for a couple of years. You know what I mean? And I got a state championship ring out of that when we beat Patterson Catholic. I wasn't expecting that though. I was not expecting a ring. I, I, you know, I was just videotaping that year because I couldn't coach the kids full time because I had to get a full time job, you know, and to get a ring, with that was i'll tell you it was uh, i get emotional because it just hearing my dad thinking of all the teammates that were with me in the past that pushed me like ron like mick like dennis like danny testa you know all these guys that were not just teammates they were my brothers and my family you know when my dad passed away everyone got together and you know said how much they missed my dad you know, at that point, we had MySpace. So MySpace was bigger than Facebook. Mo doesn't know what MySpace is. Yeah, he's too uh, I've, I've heard of it. I've, I've read it in the uh, scrolls and, and the hieroglyphics. So the, the hieroglyphics of MySpace is okay. like Facebook, but a cheaper version. Yes. You know, he... We, and Tom. Can't forget Tom. Everybody was friends with Tom. Tom yeah, was, Tom. Everyone had Tom as a friend. I deleted him after a while. <laughs> well, you know... <laughs> well, you know, just seeing that as time has gone on we see everybody i've seen ron at the beefsteaks this is the one year i couldn't make it i had my uh my my kids were sick you know as a father i gotta take care of family you know family's now priority you know one thing that we learned growing up uh there was a couple of simple rules family school actually no take that back family god school friends football was always last Mm-hmm. One thing that Sheridan always said to us, football is a is a pleasure to play with. And if you have the gift, you are talented enough to play it. Right. And the one thing is he took a guy like myself off the soccer field to go to the football field. I was no talent, nobody. But the guys like the Mark Marones, the Mike Coins, the Ron Simones, who taught me how to play the game is something that always will live down on me. 
And I'll say that right here today in the show because guys don't realize sometimes they leave their marks and literally leaving their marks on my head or my back. But, you know, <laughs> uh, but the impressions as we've gotten older, you know, Ron always knew, Ron knew I always had his respect. He knows I always gave him the respect back. You know what I mean? He was our Latimer of the program of high school football. I'll tell you that much. He, one thing when game time is he's, he was quiet, but once that, as soon as that horn hits that game time, Oh dude, no way. I'm not getting in the middle of it. I just said, <laughs> when people ask me, Oh, you're running the same play. I go, yeah. But if number 47 is coming at you, I would be worried. <laughs> you know, our, it's just an amazing thing. And that's why I was you know, worried for them. I was worried. For I was worried for them too. Not me. <laughs> I mean, cause I was like, thank God I'm not practicing on that side of the ball. <laughs> yeah. But you know, like I said, like, like you guys and me, it's like the positive messages. Listen, if I'm going to call somebody out, I'm going to call out their bullshit too. You right. know, I, I, I called somebody out the other day on Instagram. I said, if you're going to name the restaurant, name it correctly and make sure you put the right location on. Don't say yeah. you've been here and you know, the, the yeah. owners don't don't say that shit. Right, 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 right. You right. know, I even you know I didn't even do it to embarrass him because I really could <laughs> have. That's not what I'm all about. But if you piss me off, I'm gonna say it. You know what I mean? I'm gonna blurt you out. I'm gonna even highlight you. No, it's everybody's like, everybody's fake, phony, yeah. and everybody, and especially being in business, you understand that. Especially being at your age, you don't learn till you know. All let, let's say the end of your twenties and stuff mm -hmm. like that how many people are full of shit, how many people are just out for themselves. And like, yo, I'm so, I, I don't even like to use the word blessed, but I'm so blessed to like have like these guys and the other people that I have or that, that stick with me through anything. Yeah. You know well, what I mean? Through anything. No, and that's true. And that's thick. And the one thing is like, I see you guys and I always tell, I always, it was funny. I just said a, a dumb comment to my wife. I'm like, you'll know what family's like. Blood is thicker than water. Absolutely. And you guys are not just brothers. You guys are family. You're a tight knit family that help each other out. And right. that's something I love to see. And that's why I see the videos. I watched you Ron. you know, you always gave me a little plug in there when you're going live, when I say, what's up. And this is me at work when I'm working, I see Ron live. I'm like saying, what's up, yeah. you know, even if it's for 30 seconds to say, what's up. And he's like, yo, check out Gomez sleepy G show. You know, for me, that's, that's great. You know what I mean? Hearing Chris, you know, all his hypes on TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, you know what I mean? I respect yeah. that, man. That's that's awesome. And then your ideas, putting them on videos and doing the videos for these guys, it's amazing. Well, well we this is something that, like, he, sorry, he, he's yeah. he's been recording everything, you know. I I would say I try to contribute as much as I can, but uh, from uh, the very get-go, you know, that's that's one of the things that I think, I, I, I'm sure people have copied, a lot of people have copied Ron, but, you know, he's been trying to get everything on video. And that's one thing, not just uh, to promote yourself, because mm -hmm. you know, Instagram, Facebook, all these other apps are free for you to market and advertise yourself. But it's also a memory for you to look back at. Oh, yeah. I mean, all, all the stuff yeah. that you've done and where you come from and what you've achieved. On this uh, me and Ron like, and Chris, the reason we get along so well is because we've come across a lot of fake people. Mm -hmm. Right. This is one thing that we're tired of. Like we say whatever is on our mind, we say it to each yeah. other. Um, I don't know what it was like back in the day, but I think it was a lot less where you had these fake people because you didn't have so many sensitive people, people very blunt with you. Yeah. They would tell you you're wrong, exactly like how you did. You would you would call somebody out yeah. if they're doing something wrong, if they're spreading misinformation. It's not for your ego or to make yourself feel better sure. because you feel like or you understand you have a certain uh responsibility. To call out that BS. Can you hear me? Oh, you want to say oh, that? Right? Right? Sorry, no, no, I was about yeah, to, yeah. As soon as I was about to curse, you walked in. I'm like, ah. <laughs> sorry, I, no, I, no, I no, popped no, those brakes so hard. Hold on, hold on. So what do you want to say, Anthony? <clears throat> Goodbye. 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 Hi, he's going to he's gonna hang out. He's going to go. Uh, we, we got. Me. He's going to hang out with mommy now and go pick up his sister at school. Oh, that's so cool. And then you go to your grandparents. Go, go, go. <laughs> Take care, Anthony. Thank He's you. Doing laps. Bye, Anthony. I'm coming back after each lap. <laughs> oh, you gotta go to your water. Yeah, don't forget your water. Yeah. So sorry about that. You can. So, finish so I, I, I definitely wasn't the guy that came up with the idea of uh, recording, but you know, I, I did contribute some ideas in terms of recording, in terms of making videos. You know, I, I knew a little bit of special effects. I try to put that in there. 
you know, I, I love to put music in, in videos. Mm -hmm. So I try to put my twist in there. But, you know, Ron's been doing this since day one. Oh, yeah. I mean, and that's funny. You know, like you said, the memories. So yeah. when I see my Facebook memories now that I started the Sleepy G show, I'm like, damn. I remember when I had the keychain, my stickers hang selling, you know what yeah. I mean? Right, right. And, and, I remember what I had here. And then look at these two walking around. Oh, wait, I had hair. My oh, my God. Hair. It's such a beautiful I, day today. Oh, That was my junior year hair oh. right there. I needed right, the right, 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 right. I needed the bandana. Now, I'm like, bandana. I, now I, even my senior year, when I went, sh when Jimmy Logue shaved my head, uh, he goes, we need a new style for you. So my senior year, I look like a uh, criminal. Uh, I went with the. You know what? Uh, you know what? I'm going to put my hat, this hat right there that says figure it the fuck out for you. And then fall. I'm going to do the rest of the interview with no hat on. So it's fucking <laughs> obvious. See, this is, you this is the reason why. I'm going to uh, go with Ron Chris on that now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. I'm doing it. Hair. Okay. This, this is the reason why Chris keeps his hair short. He used to have hair this long. You know, yeah. I always wear a hat because it simulates a little bit of baldness. And we do this just because of Ron, you know, because we love him. So um, hey, we try uh, to accommodate you know, wherever we can. I'm, I'm 44 losing hair already. So, you know, and I got the white, we got the, <laughs> I, I got the white, I got the uh, white skunk. The white thing going. Right, 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 the, right. The, 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 no, it's funny. It's no, black. No. You see it. You see it's all black over here, but it's that white strip right, right spot. here. It's right. like that right spot. I'm like, hey, I'll, I'll own that. That's your trademark one. right there. You gotta, you gotta own that. that. That's your trademark. This is us now, and Mo will be bald soon. And sure. oh, if, not, if not, we're gonna shave. Bald. We're it's gonna shave. Soon, him. We're gonna tie him down. Like shave in a hundred years, a absolutely. Listen, if that happens, we're doing that live on Instagram and Facebook. Oh, oh. Shave I'll leave, yes. oh I see. Yeah, I'll, I'm I'm driving down for that one because I'm. Yeah, that rock bottom. <laughs> <laughs> I'll hold them both down. They're, they're not getting away. <laughs> Wow, guys. For the grand. This, this is the best thing too like you know what you're, you're you, everybody talks about you know but like the memories filming yourself like that's the one thing we always wanted to do like and and the concept was it since there's so many fake people yeah. there's so many people you know uh photoshopping themselves in front of houses or doing doing videos from their cars saying yeah. saying they're they're showing 40 houses in a in a day or they work with 40 clients He's or walking the neighborhood giving you real right. estate mm -hmm. while these awesome. houses. So we 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 turned around and said, guess what? Every appointment we go on, everything that we could teach you, everything that we want to tell to our buyers, to our sellers, and you know, it's it's social justification in this world, right? It is so anybody who has the money to market themselves and and, and, and be in a, a mom and pop place any other place that has the money to market themselves and be on all the billboards and, you know, the Walmarts, uh, you the, know, Walmarts. The, the, Walmarts the, the Costco's, the BJ's Verizon, you know, people, they're, they're not the best companies no. and you fight with, you fight with them all the time. Oh, it's, yeah. the idiots, it's the idiots. And again, we call them the sheeple that drive around and, and see these things and think these are the best, mm. right? Just because they, they, they have the exposure. Now right. we're trying to tell people again, saying that the reason we record everything, the reason we make all these videos is a to try, to try and incorporate the people. Cause who's more important than your clients, than your right. people and people all the time say to our, <laughs> say to us, like, how do you get so many people in your videos? How do you like my client never <laughs> wants to be in a picture. My client never, it, it's all because of the way we treat them. It's all because of the way we do our it's job. Respect. Yeah, it's it's respect. Respect. Right. Yeah. So we we show everybody live and direct because if there's one thing you learned in football, the eye in the sky don't lie. Oh no, definitely not. Right. And so especially on Monday afternoons. <laughs> right. If you're recording everything live as you're doing it, yeah. right? You're seeing the appointments, you're seeing the people, right? Yeah. But everybody still goes for that billboard. Everybody still goes for that TV ad. You know what I mean? Because they see it constantly thrown in their face. Well, oh, yeah. I think we've been able to like sway a lot of people too. Like the moment we walk in, you know, we're we we have a policy against suits. We're always professional. We always look professional. But the first thing we try to you know make them realize is we're just like you, mm -hmm. and that's how I think people get to open up. You know, when you have like there's all different races, and Ron calls oh, yeah. us United Nations of an office because you have somebody from Vietnam, you have somebody from Pakistan. You know what I mean? Like uh, the Ginzos. 
for your time. I'm not going to use that word because this is important. Uh, it'll be on YouTube. I, I, straight out of the book, Cuban. You know, no. right. you know, it, right. I'll even use it. Don't worry, YouTube. Right, right. You know, absolutely, it's, absolutely. It's, you know, it's cool. we, You'll we, see we, like these black, different Hispanic, people every, with di yeah. different backgrounds are all getting along. And you know whether we're going to somebody that's an Indian guy or, or a Chinese guy or, or Italian, like they see that we're all working towards. Again, I, I, I maybe I sound repetitive, but we're all working towards a common goal. It's not being repetitive; it's the truth. You're going for the common goal, like I'm going for a common goal. Well, the and problem we can is, all, we can all get along. Is with a lot of companies, like you know, a lot, a lot of people, especially in the world we're in today, like want to stick to their own. Mm -hmm. right? Oh so, yeah. Religion, stick to their own religion. Races, try and stick to their own races. Right. Like, like if you go to another real estate company, you'll see, right? And even though, even though it's a, even against a, the code of ethics, like there's all Spanish people working there, there's all black people working there, there's all white people working there, there's all uh, Asian people, yeah. and, and Asian can be you know many different areas of people. But the fact of the matter is, like we love the fact that we have so many different people here, so many different personalities, because guess what? Like, you know, if we go to a Cuban guy's house and, you know, you we, we tell everybody, come on the appointment with us. If Even if it's not your appointment, it's not your listing, you could still yeah. sell it. So why not come it's an opportunity. know the property it's an opportunity. and know the people, right? Yeah. So if, if I go to a Pakistani man's house, like it's just statistically proven that, you know, if if if, if Mo comes with me, I have a better chance of getting that property, you know, as a listing or that guy as a buyer. Right. Most likely you... the guy's my uncle too. We have a lot of cousins. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'll give you a, gr a great example. The house that I I'm living in and recording here. Mm -hmm. So they were Greek. What's funny is that the realtor who's my wife's, you know, it was a family friend of my in-laws and my wife. They know each other. Malaka. Malaka. You know? <laughs> mm -hmm. She's Greek too. Oh, wow. So when we ended up getting this house, it's because of that, as I call it, the Greek connection. Right, right, right. I, I think oh, it's absolutely, this. Absolutely. I would have never gotten this house. Right. You know what I mean? After, you know, they're like, we were trying to close in 60. They needed 90 because of the kids. June, I'm like, okay, you know what? As long as you, this is what I only, I would ask for. Don't entertain any other offers. You seal with me. I'll give you the 90 days. Right, right, right. Lo and behold, boom, dude, here I am. I got the house. Nice. You know what I mean, and and yeah. I'm thankful for the uh, the realtor though, because <laughs> I, at one point I was getting so annoyed, you know, with everything like we can't we're we're being bought we're losing out we're getting outbid like I had a number in my mind that I wasn't going to go past, you know what I mean? Even to fix a, a, a fix for upper sometimes it's not worth putting in six hundred thousand dollars and I got to put another additional two hundred thousand oh, in okay. work. Right now. You know what I mean? Listen, if you're telling me I'm buying a house at two hundred thousand, I'm gonna put another two hundred thousand work, and then I'm gonna sell it double the price at six seven hundred thousand dollars. That's smart business. Makes sense. Makes sense. That makes sense. I'm not gonna. No, buy we pray. We get like clients like you. Like you have to do a little bit of your own research, and you also have to know what it is that you want. Yeah, I mean, I oh. needed school, <clears throat> quiet pro, you know, nice right. sized house with a good lawn and a good backyard. Right. You know, I mean, my wife found this. This was the dumb part. I don't even say this. She found it on the Internet. There was no realtor attached to this house. It was for sale by the owners. Mm -hmm. And what's kind of funny, the house next door to me over here on the left hand side of my house, that house went up the same time as this house. So we looked at both houses. I went to, of course, the bigger one first, because, yeah, I always say bigger is always better. But when I when I looked at bigger and better, I'm like. Holy Christ, bigger and better means I got to put another 100K into this one. Never mind. Right, right. So and responsibility I went... purposes, like, you know, yeah. we tell everybody all the time, and I, and I tell you, like, I'm willing to lose money. He's willing to lose money. Mo mm -hmm. is willing to lose money to tell you, like, everybody, I love all these other realtors. Oh, it's the, let me, let me give you the key to your dream. It's the American dream to own a house. Yeah. A house is not a dream. It's not a it's dream. A it's a nightmare it's a sometimes. Pit. It's a responsibility. It Shit breaks. You got utilities. You got uh, maintenance to the house. Property and taxes everybody. every month. You know, right, so, right. Uh, and everybody wants to own a house, but we also do programs for people. Like so many yeah. people are trying to do networking programs and, and and all this stuff. But the fact of the matter is, if you don't teach this these people how to set up to buy a house, mm -hmm. forget about the process of buying a house. 
Oh, right. Yeah. Or buying a property or selling a property. There's a process you have to get all your ducks in a row before uh-huh. you can yeah. put it on yeah. the market. We're not yeah. we're not in the business of selling dreams. We're not in the business of selling yeah. dreams. We're in the business right. of bringing realty to reality. We, we give. And, and that's and that's the greatest thing ever, because, you know, what's funny is that I remember my wife not wanting to pull a trigger on a couple of houses. I go, listen, <clears> if we don't pull a trigger and put a bid in a house, how we know right. that we're even come close. Right, right, right. I, I'm gonna be honest with you. You know, we we were looking in the Caldwells for such a long time because of my wife's family. Some of her her cousins live out there, and they and their cousins have kids just like we do. You know, and we were thinking we want to be all together. And then I go, listen, maybe it's not meant to be because there was one realtor that's been killing us out there. You know what I mean? And it's like it's impossible. But you know what? We keep looking. You know, we looked in Whippany. We looked in East Hanover. Uh, Montville Township is where I live now. Um, we actually lived in Montville Township in the condos, mm-hmm. uh, not that far from the high school when we were looking for houses. Unfortunately, we we got married. We were get we were already pregnant at that point. You know, my wife's pregnant, and we got the house while we were during her pregnancy. Mm-hmm. You know, I wanted to make sure she's not climbing three steps, three story steps up to the house with a kid yeah. with groceries. Yeah. You know, we had to do this, but I got to thank my wife on that note, because when she was pregnant, her and the family, when I was working all day, packed up the house as best as they could. Oh, you know absolutely. I mean? There's at least like, I would say 10% luck involved because it took us a year to find this house. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we really did. We struck a deal of a lifetime, but I think, you know, maybe this is a little too spiritual, but everything is meant to happen at a certain it's time meant to, happen. You to believe that. I, right. I, I'll say this. I, I agree with you. It's going to be in the best uh, circumstances. If you take all the right uh, precautions and you have the right people that are dealing with you, your real estate agent, mm-hmm. but you have your own research done, you know, then it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Well, you I mean, can... like I said, we got lucky too. Yes. Because we almost moved in with my in-laws. Yeah. You know, because they have a bi-level house. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, they would have been upstairs. We would have been downstairs. Right. But it would have been temporary until we found our house because right. we were still continuing our on. But like you said, a little luck, but there's a reasoning for it. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, it doesn't matter whose God it is. I God's all one person. You know what I mean? It doesn't right. matter what religion you are. But right. I think this is the way I look at it. I believe God had a purpose for me on buying this house and getting this house. And it just took a little, it took a little longer than I expected. Just a matter of time. It's just a matter of time. And then four months later, my daughter was born. Right. She had a house and we had a house and we were happy to, we're raising our kids in this house. As you can see, now it's a little quieter than Anthony went to church to go pick up my sister. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, I'm blessed to have these two kids, man. I, I'm lucky. Um, you know, we're, I, in a, we're in a society of impatient people, the most yeah. impatient person in the world. To sit I wanted it yesterday. He wants it yesterday. Like, yeah, everybody doesn't understand. Like, we both like, cancers were the same way. And you yeah. and you heard it. You heard it the same way I did. Like, and I still use it today. Trust the process. Trust the process. Yeah. Like, you don't need to increase your price. You don't need to. You know. You don't need to take a beating on something. Mm-hmm. You need to just be patient. Yeah. And everything will work out. Everything. Exactly. Will work out. I mean, I trust the process now more than any. It took me a while to learn that, but I to this day I trust it. And you know, it took me good portion of my life to do it but i trusted it you know what i mean and it's and it's hard too because you know what like every business has its ups and ups and downs right yeah sometimes you're making money sometimes you're not making money unless you work for somebody else right then there's times money you're never going to get rich working for somebody else i'll be honest with you last year was my first year podcasting here's a great example just like you're saying at august i was like you know the show's not catching on as much as i thought it's the summertime. People are away. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I'm going, do I really want to continue doing this? Right. You know what I mean? Am I catching? But then when I'm hearing people say, we love what you're doing. You're such an amazing person. You're gifted. You're talented. I go, thank you. I was told in high school by my guidance counselor, I wasn't going to amount to anything, but here I am. I was told that I should buy that guidance counselor. Yeah. I was told, no, I was told that I should not go to apply any big colleges. And I did. And I got accepted to a few of them. That's what you need. Somebody but the thing is, I was so, I was in Ronkata, I was so devoted to football, you know, and that was the thing I said, well, you know what? If football's going to get me an education, I'm going with football. Right. And, and I busted my ass on the field. Like, 
if you talk football to me and I'm going to tell you how what the plays are and stuff like that, I can go to a football game and people are like, can you shut up about the plays? It's like, how can you tell? I go, look at the formation. Look at the linemen. The and, linemen it pisses, are- and it pisses you off when somebody doesn't do their job. Job, exactly. And Especially they just, your position. Even Especially my position. position. Ron even knows. He's seen me how pissed off. If I mess up and he gets tackled, he knows I take it to heart. But he's always, you know, he's like, dude, he taps me on it. It's like, don't worry. Pick up the next play. He always tapped me in the helmet. No matter if I fucked up or I didn't fuck up, he was there to say, don't worry. We get him on the next one. And you take care of the people that take care of you. You know what? I'm not perfect every time. Chris, Mm -hmm. Mo, you, none of us are perfect. None of us are. But the thing is, you got my back. Like, I got your back. And that's the thing. You know what I mean? Like, I'll I'll be there for you guys if you need me. Hey, Gomez, I... I need you to do something for us for the show. Hey, shit, no problem. What do you need? Tell me. You know what I mean? I'll get you guys no matter what. And one thing I could one thing I could say about me and, and the three of us, like, we preach it all the time. Like, you got to commit to consistency. Like, mm-hmm. if you want to be successful at anything, it doesn't happen in a year. It doesn't happen in three years. Sometimes the market's bad. Sometimes the market's great. As long as you just keep pushing forward yeah. and doing what the fuck you got to do as your piece of that puzzle – yeah. You're gonna you're you're gonna succeed in it. You're and that's gonna... the way I look at it. I, I'm building my I'm building my blocks. Right. As a, as I'm going, you know, I, I'm I'm still in the bottom. I'm still, you know, I had some successful names already. Yeah. But that's not gonna catapult me to beat Howard Stern here, you know what I mean? But, right. but that's like every structure. You have to you have to set your foundation. Yeah. Because if it's not strong enough, that structure could fall at any time. So I mean, you're you're strengthening your 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 I'm, foundation right now. Exactly. I am building my foundation like you're building like a building a house right now. And that's something I've learned and something I watched you guys do. And you know, that's why I'm so impressed. And I'm so happy you guys are doing what you're doing, especially calling out rat faced people. <clears throat> you guys know. No problem doing that. So many. There's so many. No, and no, there was, you know, there was one, involved. there was one especially. There was one especially involved in many things, though, because, you know, everybody comes to us. Oh, my God, net you. Oh, my God. You guys are you know, we want to be you collaborate with you guys. The we want to do this. You know, we we, we do. We've done waltz. We've, I've seen that. We sponsored water for for people that, again, nothing against them, but they're they're not honest and they're not on the same page as us no. so when we, we uh, listen we'll do anything we'll come on your show we'll we'll do we'll go to you know uh, a camp for kids we'll you know i'm going to east rutherford to read books to children on on tuesday that's right? awesome i just did that I'll with do, my daughter's school i'll do anything he'll do anything mo will do anything but the minute that you're doing something that that affects our name mm-hmm. Goodbye. Okay, okay. We can't. We don't. I, I know. Want to lose that? We're, we're committed to consistency of being straightforward, honest, doing our job, and 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 we're open to open to opportunities. Open to opportunities. This is a great right. opportunity today. Like to be to be here, and and Ron has spoken so highly of you. So we will all look really forward to this. And Ron talked very highly of you guys <laughs> for a long time. You know, I I called Ron personally the, well, about two weeks ago. I think when you went away. Yeah. You know what I mean? And Ron and I were talking like, yo. It's like, I can't, he's going away. I'm like, that's fine. We'll set it up another time. It's okay. Yeah, we had to fight this war. I was in Pakistan and uh, we no, lost. Is, well, <laughs> <laughs> we lost. <laughs> <laughs> but see, that's what I'm saying. But, you know, and I'll work with anybody. You know what I mean? Listen, Cara DeFalco had a, a, a scheduling in conflict. I usually record at 8.30 at nights during the weeknights or at weekends. <clears throat> she goes, hey, can we make it earlier? Hey, hold on. I'm leaving early from work. Is that okay? Not a problem. See you later. You know what I mean? But this is the most special thing that around. Like, you know what? Like, and you can ask Mo, you can ask Chris, like the first, the first, you know, when they became realtors and, and we did all these videos together and stuff, we'd walk into people's houses that never even met them. Mm-hmm. And they're like, Oh my God, you're Mo Butts. Oh my God, you're the hype man. Yo, I love your, and like the feeling I would get like, Oh my God, bro. Those are my boys. Like I love that people are, yeah. are, are like loving them. And like, imagine the feeling like they got. You know, right. imagine the feeling you get when somebody's like, oh, my God, that's the Sleepy G guy or that's Ando. It's you know, kind of funny. Gomez, or, you know what I mean? Like, it's good to hear that. That's why you keep doing it. And that's why yeah. you keep committing to your consistency. And that's something, you know, uh, it, it's like me meeting. I met Ryan Callahan from the New York Rangers, the captain of the New York Rangers at one point. Uh-huh. I paid to go see him because he was one of my favorite New York Rangers. If anybody knows, I love hockey and I love my football. 
And Ron would tell you, I could testify how much I love football. Um, you know, if I can baseball coach, and, and hockey, I mean, I could see all the I, well, Bat- baseball, and Batman, who's and not Batman. a superhero. <laughs> Definitely a superhero. But the more you say it, the more he becomes a superhero, just so you know. But, I mean, the one thing is, you know, if it wasn't for my dad, my mom, my wife, and my kids putting me where I'm at today, you know, uh, I talk about my dad highly, even though he's been gone for almost 20-some-odd years. You know, I still talk to him like he's he's here with me every day. Oh, and, man. you know, and he's watching his grandkids grow up. You know what I mean? Um and he, I still hear him football games. I, I, I keep thinking of all St. Mary's games sometimes. I'll sit there thinking about some of the games, you know what I mean? The the fun that we had, the times that we've had, the goods and the bads, it doesn't matter. We were all there, and I see you guys do that now. And even today with my show, you know what I mean? It, it's just an amazing feat how far we all have come and become who we are today. And that's something positively you guys are doing, something so amazing that – I can't say other people are doing. Same, you know with, what I mean? you. Same with you, brother. And thank you, man. And I appreciate that. And Ron talking highly about you guys. It's so amazing. And even him telling you guys about me, you know what I mean? That's such a great thing. Cause that's a great feeling for me. I even have goosebumps in the back of my neck talking about right. that mm-hmm. because it's an amazing thing. And you know, we're, we're for all of us, all four of us here today, the sky's the limit for all of us. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And that's how I look at it. And, you guys are truly awesome. Ron, Chris, Mo. I, I, I don't know how to thank you guys for coming on today. You should get an OSRS tattoo like Chris <laughs> has. Like I have, Mo for religious persons. Yeah, uh, I, no, I actually uh, have a tattoo, but I grew out my hair, right. so you can't and see you, it. But if you, you, see, if you were to shave me bald, like, you, you'd be able to see, see it. See right here. We got we got you heard the bing. We got yes. our necklace on, right? And on top of it, and on top of it. We'll give the, Ron is stripping here live. We'll give the show. girls a little something on this show. This girls, is this show. Went from a podcast. Let's show them we got our superhero tattooed on us. Yes. And we got our OSR. At, like, this is this is how much we love our company. This is how much commitment we put into this because this is what we were taught by the greats in our lives. Yes, without a doubt, man. And and, the, and all the girls. Calm down, put some you water on you. If you, you see how, and if you want to see how this, big this I am compared to Chris. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I can't thank you guys enough for coming on. Now, oh, thank you for having us. You, you know, so I really appreciate you guys. And keep doing all the positive work. You know, I'm going to start. I started hashtagging you guys a lot. I'm going to keep hashtagging you. Going to keep it real. Oh. I'm going to keep supporting you guys. Even when we're done tonight. Now, actually, I'm going to go on the phone saying everybody the, the awesome interview I just had with you guys. So we can spread the positivity, spread the love to everybody, I but also it. you gotta come hang out with us. We'll grab some. Yes. We'll, we'll, oh, we'll, without a doubt. Meet the hype man, meet the mo butts. And... Without a doubt. Just when just give me another couple of weeks with these kids because now they'll be outside where now I can start going out more. <laughs> uh, it, it, with two kids, it's hard as you can see how attached my son is. You know what I mean? He you know, my daughter and my son are attached to me a little bit through COVID, which right. I gotta good. I gotta thank you and I gotta thank Mo. And I got to thank Chris <laughs> because they're my right and left hand man. Oh, without a doubt, man. Best Before we sign off, world. tell everyone where they actually can find you guys so they know. Even I do know where they can find you, but let everybody else know just so they I, get you. I mean, we're, we're everywhere. Mo, let, Mo, Mo, you can hit them with something. Hit them up. Well, yeah, you could find us on Facebook. You could find us on Instagram. You could literally go outside on your roof and scream our names, and we'll probably most likely appear. All you got to do is send up the signal. Send up that signal. You know who to call. Your real estate superheroes. That's it. Up. Give them the hype, man. Give them the hype, man. <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hype, man. <clears throat> At net you, that one stop really shop, that hashtag, all you can do, baby. <laughs> and that merch. <laughs> Don't forget the merch, guys. Don't forget that merch. Yo, I didn't realize this, but we were all wearing black. Like, oh, I yeah. want to say this because I don't want people to think we're a cult. Like, and we only wear like. Well, I was the only one who like, wasn't This wasn't black. planned. What's we're not a cult. We're a family. No, no. We I, mean, I made my I I made my own jersey here. As which I is kind of funny. Where is it? Oh, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring you some merch anyway. Don't worry. We're gonna make him some merch. Look at, look at the number. I see of the silver. 79. I see I'm nine. still rocking the. And you know what's funny, Ron? Before we sign off, I'll probably go like this, and look what's over there. Wow. Look at this. Uh, we got we got numbers of our own too. So Ron knows that jersey very well. How come yeah. your house is nicer than mine? <laughs> um, I'm a real estate broker. <laughs> I, I, I paid my dues. Let's just say that. <laughs> <I paid my dues. laughs> 
guys, as like you see, it, it really is nothing but love and family here today. Yes. We, we we shared a lot of our stories, you know, with Chris, Mo, Ron. Ron and I are true old friends and truly amazing person that he is. Man, you know, he's got that heart heart exterior on the outside, but he is probably one of the best people you ever meet, man. He'll have your back for life, and he has my back just like I got his. Chris and Mo, same to you guys. Gotcha. I'm there for you guys. You know, so anything you guys need, let likewise. us know. Thank and you. guys, you're always welcome back on the show. Anytime you want, let me know. Let us know. You let us know, we'll be there. We just want your audience to figure it the fuck out. Get fucking focused. <laughs> Yo, we're bringing real teeth to reality and reconstructing that real estate because that shit's broken. And the number one thing we got to tell you guys is copy us like HP. Because you're going to anyway. And he does anyway. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Guys, as, you. As, thank you so much again. Guys, it's nothing but love, peace, and happiness. Thank appreciate you, everybody. And I appreciate everyone here tonight. Guys, that's all I got, and we thank you again. We'll see you till the next time. Thank you. Yo, hype man punches. Hype man punches. Oh. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> He's not going <laughs> to.